Hello everyone and welcome to episode 5 of Skyblock Evolution. Now you can see that I'm out here by the desert island mob farm with the husks and everything. Um, and I have made this little area up here for turtle breeding. You can see I am in a beach biome um, so that they will consider this as their home beach and lay the eggs here. Um, I have been breeding up the turtles. I did let a few grow up and I got seven scoots so... I'll be able to make those into turtle masters or even the turtle helmet or whatever I want to do with those. And I've also gotten 25 turtle eggs. Now the main thing in 1.16 that you're going to need turtle eggs for is pigmen farm. Because the pigmen try to pathfind to the eggs because they just want to stop on the eggs. So they're trying to pathfind towards them and that way I can make a little drop shooting area and yeah. I'm also in range of the um, husk farm while I'm out there and so I've gotten a ton more sand uh, and obviously the turtle eggs and all that so the next thing I'm gonna do is this is gonna be so this is gonna be a primarily nether episode so I'm gonna be going to a bastion exploring maybe the other little islands out in the nether area like the soul sand valley crimson forest and warp forest and I will just be going around to those. So I'm going to get a couple things together and then start heading out to the Bastion so I can make a Magma Cube spawner because pigmen are the only thing that can spawn on the Magma Blocks and so I'm going to need a spawner and a farm so that I can get a ton of those. Alright, so the coordinates I'm going to head to to get to the Bastion are negative 546, 91, and negative 263. Um, I've gotten a few health potions just in case I need those, some blocks, and a gold helmet. Um, I know last, I think it was two episodes ago, that I said I was going to wait for 1.16.2 to come out so I could have the Piglin Brutes. Um, but I think I'm just going to go there now because I would like to make a better gold farm because this is the best gold farm that I have right now. And it's not very efficient, and I just like to get a better one of those. So I'm going to head out to the Bastion, and I'll bring you guys back when I get there. Alright, so the Bastion is just coming into view now. And I've got the advancement for those were the days. I'm going to not get shot by this ghast. You can see that the magma cubes over there are already spawning in a ton. So I think I'm just going to go around in this thing and collect up all the chests and all the loot in those. I've brought a couple blocks with me so I'm going to block myself in um, so that the um, piglins won't get mad at me for stealing their loot. And I'll just bring you guys back once I've gotten a ton of loot from this place. Alright, so I blocked myself in around this little, uh, where the gold would be in the center, and you can hear all of the magma cubes all around me just going absolutely insane, and I've died once from the magma cubes, but thankfully didn't lose anything but my boots, um, because they flew off the edge into lava, um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much the chaos that's out there. Um, but so far, from all the chests that I've looted, I've gotten all these things, including three netherite. Um, I've gotten an ancient debris from killing one of the magma cubes because they have a slim chance of dropping the ancient debris. I've just gotten all these things. I've gotten actually two copies of Pigstep, which is my favorite disc, so that's really cool. Um, and now I think I'm just going to make my way to the outside, hopefully, and home safely. Uh, I think I'll come back here later in this episode and deal with all of these, um, but currently I'm just gonna go home. I made a little hole in the roof here where I can get up to the second level, so I think that's what I'll do. Alright, so I'm out here at the Soul Sand Valley. Um, the cords are negative 529, 57, 288. Um, it's pretty much just Soul Sand and some bones, so I'm just gonna collect up a bit of the Soul Soil and maybe collect up these bones and then I will probably make my way over to the Crimson Forest. Alright, so I made my way over to the Crimson Forest. The coordinates are 448, 40, and then negative 642. This place is full of hoglins, so I'm going to be very careful when I harvest these things. I'm going to grab out um, from my tools box my soak touch hoe so that I can collect up these nether warp blocks a lot faster because that's the tool that they use. I'm just going to collect up the nether warp blocks, um, a few of the nilium on the ground there, 
and I will go over to the Crimson Forest. Alright, so now I'm over in the Warped Forest biome, which is at negative 151, 40, negative 804. Um, this one should be a lot safer than the Crimson, unless I look good at Enderman right away, you know? So I'm just gonna harvest a few of these trees, get some of the mushrooms and all of the vegetation around here, and then I will go back home and drop off all of the things that I've gotten so far. Alright, so after my little jam out session with the new pig step disc, which is obviously the best, um, I'm going to head over with my new rocks box um, and start making the magma cube farm. It is a mix between Raiseworks and J-Wisps design, so I will link both those in the description and you can kind of watch both of them and see what you like from both of them. I kind of just took pieces from them and put them together so that they're both kind of the same farm. Um, so I'm just going to go over and I'm going to do that and I'll bring you guys back when I've built up my magma cube farm. Alright, so I've finished the magma cube farm. Um, it, it, it was probably the hardest farm that I've ever built. I'm not going to go in there because I will die. But you can see just the spawner and I've got the giant room. And then an iron golem over here is just killing them. And then their drops are going to get picked up by this minecart that's running around over here. And yeah, it all goes into this chest and I've gotten an ancient debris already. And that makes six in total because I had to kill a whole ton while I was trying to make the farm. I died multiple times and I actually had to bring the uh, respawn anchor over here so that I could just die. I had like a pickaxe and just a few blocks and I would just go in, place some things, break some things, die, and keep going. It was quite hard. Not really the best, but I did it. It happened in the end. Um, and it's working, so that's good. I'm just going to AFK over here for a little while, um, and I will get a bit of magma cream so I can start to make my zombified piglin farm. Alright, so after a ton of AFKing, I've gotten this many magma blocks. I might need more, but I'm just going to start off with this for now. Um, and I've gotten 38 ancient debris, so I'll smelt all of these up and turn them into netherite ingots right now. After smelting up all of the ancient debris into the netherite scraps and combining it with gold, I've gotten 12 netherite ingots. Um, I can even make a block, which I think I will do. Um, which is, re I love this texture. I wish I could build out of it, but sadly it's such a rare block that you really can't. But it's really pretty. And it's got a really cool noise when you break it. Um, but there's the block of netherite. I'm just going to put that in there. I'm not going to turn any of my tools or anything into netherite just yet. Um, but maybe later in the episode or next episode I will start turning a few things into netherite. But for now I'm going to start on the gold farm. So I'm just going to go out. This is a farm designed by Waddles. I will link that video in the description. And I'm going to go out and start building the farm. So as you can probably see and hear right now, I've gotten the zombified piglin farm all up and going. It took forever because it was so much AFKing for all the magma blocks and then placing them all obviously. But I did get it done and it works amazing. I have already got 59 levels and I died a couple times trying to do this and so it obviously is working great. Um, I'm just going to quickly fly b away and come back so I can show off the farm. Alright, so flying back in, you can see this thing is huge, so it leaves a lot of spawning space down here. This top row is just to make sure that ghasts do not spawn, and this center area is my standing area. I stand right on that block, and then this weeping vine here is just so that I can get down here to the collection area. I've only been running this farm for a little while, and it's still sorting through all the items that I just got. Um, I've got... I was smelting all of the swords that I got down, but I figured that was going to take too long and it just couldn't keep up and I didn't want to waste all the fuel on that, so I'm just yeeting them into the void pretty much. I've already got 19 pieces of netherrack, which is really good. Um, I've gotten a whole ton of gold ingots, I mean gold nuggets, and a bunch of gold ingots too, and it's still sorting through all of the items that I got, so that's really cool. I might have to stem out the sorting system just so that that goes a little bit faster and we don't end up losing anything because of the five minute sorting, 
but hopefully we will get through all that and this farm will be great so I can start on the next farm that I'm going to build which is going to be the piglin bartering farm um, so I wanted to build the gold farm so I could barter with the piglins it's just gonna be a huge uh, trail of things you can see it's throwing the swords out right now as it's getting them um, and I'm gonna probably build that right, right back here so I'm going to start building up the piglin bartering farm and I will get back once I have done that alright so since the last cut I've done a ton of things mainly around the piglin farm and the zombified piglin farm so I'm just gonna fly away and come back really fast so that I can get all of the zombified piglins to spawn and there we go so now they are aggroed at me so I've changed this a little bit this thing is pretty much the same but then if we go down below um, you can see I've gotten this set up now this they're still aggro at me right so they're not aggroed at me anymore and if I just go down below after I collect all this XP um, if I can just go down here you can see that I have made a few changes so this now spits out all the items just so that they can get sorted a little bit better and they don't get like a backlog of everything so it'll just come through here just like I had up there um, with the sorting system and everything so I've got all of the these things I've got a piece of netherrack in there already and all of that set up so I'm gonna take all of the gold that I've just gotten and bring it over to my piglin bartering farm that I've made. So I had the piglin bartering farm set up earlier to where it was underneath here, like both of them right underneath, and it was causing problems just because it was all taking so long to filter out, and so I moved it over here, and it looks a lot better over here too. Um, I had a whole bunch of item sorters, but now I just have all of these chests to just collect it all up. I'm not sorting any of it, because I feel like if I need it I can just come over here and just double click it out as you can see I haven't done any of the trading yet but how this thing works is you can see I've got four piglins in here I don't think I'll need more than that um, I can just put all of the gold into this chest it'll get distributed throughout these and then I can just come over here and click all of these buttons to uh, start the farm and you can see that pops out a piece of gold they grab it immediately so there's no like waiting time and then once it comes off the pressure plate another one will get spit out because it detects it with this redstone torch and sends a signal so it'll just keep doing that um, until all of the gold is gone and I've got a line of hoppers running underneath here so you can see that I've already gotten all of these things from the bartering um, I've got a simple dropper elevator over here that is just making the items go up this line so it can all get sorted into these chests so it's a pretty simple farm area and you can see I get a whole ton of items from this because I've got this many still in this dropper and there's more coming into it also so it's very productive and a very good farm to have another thing I did um, in between cuts was build this little crimson and warped farming area it's just a 7x7 seven seven pad of both of the uh, nilium types uh, so I pretty much just come in here I grab one of each I grab a bit of bone meal I just plop them in the middle bone meal them up so that I get the full tree then I just fly over top of them and I break them all down um, collect up all the stuff and put it all back in this chest when I'm done so that's how that works it's very simple not really a huge automatic farm but I don't think I need an automatic farm for these wood types right now I might get one of those going later if I find out that I need more of this wood but for right now this will suffice for the amount of wood that I need alright so I think the next thing I'm gonna do is make myself a storage system down at the bottom of the world because I'd like to have everything down there and just be close together so I have easy access to everything so I think I'm gonna put it right there because I've got a nice space for it so um, I'm just gonna make up the storage system I have a design thought out that I'm gonna do for it and I will bring you guys back once I've got the storage system all built up alright so I got the storage room all built up 
It's a very simple design I went with. I've just got this wall of all of the uh, workstation tools that I might need. Um, I am lagged. Okay, there we go. Um, I am using uh, Crying Obsidian and a few lanterns just around here um, for the lighting of this area so this is all nice and lit up. And then I have all of my chests obviously and I'm just gonna put signs on them so that they um, so that I know what's in them. I'll definitely gauge what's in them and I'll be able to just click through um, later but for right now I think just the signs will work and I might keep those up I might not I don't know I'll figure that out um, this is obviously not all the sorting I need to do I need to put more stuff here probably end up filling this entire wall today with the stuff that I have and then I'll have maybe this extra wall I think I'll have enough chests because I'm just categorizing like nether stuff is just like obviously nether stuff um, but it's like very broad sections so I can fit a lot of different kinds of blocks in each of them so hopefully I won't run out of space I don't think I will this is a good amount of storage I'm not automating this just because I like organizing all of it I know that's kind of weird but I enjoy organizing stuff so I'm just gonna keep it like this so that I can do that um, but I'll end up organizing the rest of the stuff that's up there and get all that down here probably in between episodes or cuts or something like that. Alright, so I've got my bee nests in here in this little um, very simple honey farm and honeycomb farm. Um, pretty much how this works is the comparator at the back here can detect how much honey is inside and once the redstone signal gets up to the top it will shoot off the dispenser and it will shoot out a glass bottle. So this one and this one are going to be set up to get the honey itself. And this third one, which will soon become a bee nest, um, when I get the honeycombs to do that, uh, will get the honeycombs. So I'm just going to fill up this dispenser. I'm missing one because it's currently in here. And after that, I will fill this one up with bottles and move that one over there. I just want to be able to get the three honeycombs that you're going to need to make the beehive. All of these are filled up to the max, so they all have three bees in them, which is an advancement in the farmer tab um, which is move a bee nest with three bees inside using silk touch which is what I did so I'm gonna get the campfire to collect honey without angering the bees um, and then a stack of honey blocks this is gonna be used through a dispenser but it's the same concept really alright so I've done another more aesthetic build which is this I really like how it turned out I really like how it's got, uh oh, oh, he's not mad at me, okay. Um, I really like how it's got like the split in between the warped and the crimson forests and the nether portal in the middle, just kind of combining and wrapping together the two. I've got the new, all of pretty much the new blocks that are found in each of the forests. Um, and I'm going to see if this links up with the nether portal now. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to actually decommission this one. As you can see, I'm just slowly moving all of the things that I need down to the lower island because that's where I want to live and everything, so I really don't want to have anything up here of importance. So I'm just going to take all of this down and I will see if that nether portal will link up to the portal that is already generated in the nether. Alright, so I've gotten the portal all taken down from up there, and I'm just going to go through here and hope that it links up with the portal that's already in the nether, and I don't have to create a new portal because it's, it would just be a hassle. Okay, so it does. That's really good. So now I can go through this portal, and I should end up back down at the other portal. Here we go. Alright, so this is all good and working, so now I have nether access down at the bottom of the world too. The next thing I'm going to do is just take out all of the blocks up there, take out the pathways, and maybe make a little glass circle so that I can have that as a vantage point, maybe up at the top of the world so that I can see down to all of the things that I've built down here.
Okay, so I have taken out all of the little bridges in between the islands. Everything that the islands are made up of, aside from that turtle island, is stone bricks. So it's like a more permanent block. Um, I turned the birch island and the little snow golem area over there to the um, stone bricks. Uh, I've gotten this water elevator up to Y100. Um, so it's a nice viewing area uh, of everything. Um, I've gotten the water elevator all the way up and then I've got this little glass circle area just so that I can look down and see everything that is down below. Alright, I think that's where I'm going to end off the episode for today. Just as like a little recap, we explored all of the islands in the nether and the different biomes there. We built a magma cube farm, which made it so that we could make a zombified piglin farm. Um, and then we could make a piglin farm, a piglin bartering farm. Then I came back into the overworld and I built the storage system down there. I also built the nether uh, portal area and then I got the bee farm and honey farm. And then we took out all of the um, pathways between the different islands and made everything just look a little bit better. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!